Hello, my name is Chris Chaudhry, and I've created an artificial intelligence that can use contact tracing to help slow the spread of the coronavirus. As we all know, the coronavirus is a huge problem in our society today. Starting from Wuhan, China, the new virus quickly exploded out of control as it spread across China and later hundreds of other countries. As of August 1st, 2020, there have been over 16 million cases around the world and more than 600,000 dead. Some scientists say that the coronavirus is almost 10 times deadlier than the common flu. Therefore, earlier this month, I proposed that there must be some sort of AI solution that has some system for accurately detecting when two people break social distancing and at what distance. The system must also show which users broke the rule and some sort have some sort of quick alert system to send an email to each of the users, letting them know when they have broken the rule. So how, my, how may my project do this, you may ask? Well, my project does this in three steps. The first step is finding the distances between people. I perform human detection using Kira's retina net, a faster RCNN that returns bounding boxes and confidence scores for objects it detects in an image. I needed to grab each of the humans in the videos from every single frame in the video. Next, I use the law of similar triangles to detect the distances from each human to the camera. Finally, I use the law of cosines to find the distance from each human to the other. As you can see in this image, red bounding boxes show that a person is ineffectively social distancing, meaning that they are within six feet of each other, while green boxes show that a person is safe. Here, green lines show that a person is farther than six feet away from a person, while red lines show that they are not. The next feature of the project is facial detection. The facial detection was done using multitask cascaded convolutional neural networks. I also used the LBPH face recognizer object in the OpenCV library to recognize the names of the people who broke social distancing. First, I grabbed the faces of the people from the video. Then I trained my model using these faces. And then finally I tested them. And here I drew the names of the people on top of their bounding boxes. As you can see, Ronald Pickett has his name depicted over his bounding box. Finally comes the most important feature of the project, contact tracing. One, there are two things that need to be done for contact tracing. The first is a MongoDB database, and the second is sending an email to all of the users that broke the social distancing. I decided to implement MongoDB in my database. I insert every record of when the social distancing rule is broken from every frame in the video. Next, I send an email using the simple mail transfer protocol server in order to communicate with mail, mail services to send emails. Here's an example of the database that I was using. Here is one instance of, a, of when a social distancing was broken in one frame. Here you can see the distance at which it was broken, the people that broke it, at what date the system logged it, it was broken at, um, and here are other instances of when it was broken. As you can see from the previous images, Jack Daniel broke it with Ronald Pickett. So it is from that instance in that frame. Next, once it detects that it broke the rule, it sends an email to each of the users. So it will send an email to both Jack Daniel, Ronald Pickett, and other management personnel if you want that to happen. In the email, the subject is social distance breach. And it says that you were in violation by a certain distance. It shows the people that it broke it with, the date that it was broken, and then a warning to properly social distance. Now you may ask, why is this important? What is the business value behind this? Well, ensuring workers' safety will enable employees to become much more productive through in-person collaboration and work. Not only companies, but in schools and malls, in-person collaboration will allow for much more productivity. The database and email can enable those in charge of faculty to take control of contact tracing. Economically, the company, school, or mall will enter a loss if many employees or personnel enter the workplace and contract the virus. Now you may ask, what are some extensions to the project? How may the project be extended further to include more topics? Well, currently, the, while the Kara's retina net model is currently pretty effective, it can be improved even more to be even more effective by retraining the model. 
We can also use deep learning for facial recognition to improve the accuracy of detecting which faces and who is in every video in every frame. Next, we can also check if a person is wearing a mask because if a person is wearing a mask, the distances between the people can be reduced because masks greatly reduce the possibility of contracting the virus. Finally, detecting the spread of the virus is very important. Um, and we can add an option in the MongoDB database to show which people have currently have the virus to further optimize the impact of the contact tracing. The software can also be installed in CCTV cameras to be used in malls, schools, and corporate offices. In addition, my application outputs an edited video showing when social distancing was broken in the given footage. Here are two of the, here are a few of the many example footages I have. Using CV2, the application edits the video to draw bounding boxes and around each human. Green bounding boxes show that a person is safely social distancing, while red show that they're within six feet. The names of each person detected are written above their bounding boxes. Finally, lines are drawn from each, every person to each other. Green show that they are farther than six feet, while red show that they are within. Here are a few more videos. This video was done without facial detection. Every line is drawn from every person to each other. As you can see in this video, these two people are not social distancing and these two people are not social distancing, which means everyone is social distancing. But the program properly predicts that the two people to the left and right are properly social distancing through this green line. And the final video is a continuation of the last video. As you can see, their names are written above their bounding boxes. Therefore, that is my AI solution to help slow the spread of the coronavirus. Here are some of the sources I used and thank you for listening.